Okay, so here's the very first test print running the Lurge S board. Um, took a little while to get it in and all set up correctly, but it was fairly straightforward. And this is literally my very first print. And it's going down perfectly. And I must say, it's uh, very smooth and very quiet with these these drivers in. I've just bodged my fans on there from the other board for now. So it's all a bit of a mess. It's not a very clean install. It's just to get it running again and make sure everything was okay. I did overhaul all the mechanics on the top and replace belts and give everything a clean. And uh, yeah, the board is now installed and running. And I must admit, I'm so impressed with it really it's so straightforward and simple um, and as I say it's my very first print I'm not set anything up other than uh, just my basic parameters and uh, increased my acceleration settings and overall speed settings from my previous board and this is the very first print. I didn't even re-level the bed or nothing, change the Z height, just hit go. And yeah, I must admit it's it's quite surprising how well it's done. So the thumbs up for now. Excellent little board. Well, it's now six hours in on my first test print using this uh, Lurge S board and everything's still functioning, nothing's caught fire, uh, no magic smoke, everything's still working fine. Um, I'm not going to open this for too long because it's ABS, it's quite a large flat print. But yeah, still, uh, still going very well. Excellent, in fact. So. 
So, uh, so far, so good. Well, this is the end of my first ever print job using the Lurge S board and it took 20 hours 36 minutes and it completed successfully and there is the result and I must say it has done a very very good job indeed Some banding there, but I'll look into that. A little bit of lifting in the corner where it always lifts generally. Very good. This is a uh, Sunlu ABS and um, that was printed at 236 degrees with a bed temperature of about 92 and no heated chamber but the chamber was held at about 30-ish 30, 30 degrees throughout the print um, just by the ambient heat given off from the heat bed. But, yeah. We completed a print successfully, and uh, what can I say? It done an admirable job. I did add an extra fan to keep things cool, so I need to tidy it up in there a bit now. But yeah, for the first test results for the Lurge S board. Perfect so far. Very impressed. See how hard this is to get off of there. Not a problem. And, uh, here's my inbuilt supports. They're not supports generated, these are supports inbuilt into the model. Um, I tend to find with ABS it's probably sometimes better to put your own in and leave it up to the slicing software. Just needs cleaning up. A strong, solid enclosure, but more importantly, this is what done it. I don't know what this is to say. No, nope, no, nope. just back to there. Okay, well. Successful print guys with the Lurge S board. Uh, very impressed. What can I say other than that for now? Still more to discover with this board. Um, someone made a comment about getting into the extra advanced settings. I haven't been able to do that. I don't know why. Perhaps I'm stupid. So I just want to show them quickly. To apologise. We now have a tripod, but I'm not very good with it. So. Uh, I have to excuse 
the skills with the tripod. Okay, so I've been trying to get into settings for this board, which I can log in, I can change most of the settings. What I can't find is the limit switch settings or the advanced settings. So perhaps maybe I'm missing something. I'm not sure. I mean, these are my settings currently. But it's the limit switch settings I can't get into. Um, hmm. So if anyone knows how to get access into those extra settings, let me know. I can't seem to do that. Just done that, but calibration fail. And calibrate, okay, okay. Um, yeah, not sure. There. I think I calibrated the screen a bit strange there. Let's just do that again. So anyway, yeah, I can't find those settings. Other than that, I did, I'm extremely happy with this board. Um, I did make a mistake when I first reviewed the board. Unfortunately, I can't show it on this one, so I'll get another board quickly. Um, I made a mistake about the AC heated bed and the control of that. So I just want to clear that up quickly. If I can just find the other board. Oh yeah, sorry, here we go. This is another large large S board which I'll be putting in another Core XY machine like this one. I'm gonna build another machine the same as this. And uh, we'll be using this board. I did actually get this one with the breakout for the drivers um, so I'll probably change those take those out and put something else in there not sure but anyway this port see if we can get close in there we go now we print flashes died on the camera so I'm gonna have to do this this is how well prepared I am guys okay Another one. Okay, so this port here that's labelled up Auto P, I thought it was for, I misread uh, the information on this board when I first looked into it, and I thought it was related to a AC heat bed. <clears throat> it's not at all. This is actually to put a, a relay and a sensing unit on so that it will sense... Uh, power failure and give the board a little bit of time to save a, uh, its position and its current status before everything switches off so that is actually a port for sensing power failure um, and you can buy a relay unit with a output port that connects to this and you can then switch the board uh, switch power onto this board via the relay and switch 
and it indicates to the um, to the Lurge S board whether there's healthy power or not and like I say in a power failure it just gives the board a second or two to quickly save everything and shut down before you lose total power so that's what that power port is so my mistake on the previous first video see if I can get in there come on camera there we are auto P so that's actually for a relay and a power sensing circuit which I've ordered those and we'll be installing that and doing a quick review on that later on so there's another large S board exactly the same um, all I'm doing for the heat bed uh, is driving the solid state relay directly from there so that's all I'm doing with my AC heat bed and um, my AC heat bed worked fine on that print so uh, I'd say that's a success so good little board I think I'm impressed with it so far well just as I was about to do a video to finish off the Lurge S board and my first test print um, I had a parcel arrive yesterday or should I say I missed a parcel yesterday so I've just been down to the post office to check and find out what it was and lo and behold it is the Lurge power modules that I ordered <coughs> I ordered these on AliExpress and I only ordered these on the 8th of June If I can get there, there they are, eighth of June. Two of large power modules. That's what they cost me, I think. Was it? Yeah. So two of those delivered, and they actually arrived yesterday, on the thirteenth. So uh, five days delivered. What can I say? Um, to be honest, I, I quite rate AliExpress. It's um, if you ever get a late delivery off AliExpress, it's not generally AliExpress. It's the seller themselves. Um, this was purchased actually from um, where's the seller? From the Lurge. Sorry, let's get rid of my flash. If I can get rid of my flash, I don't think I can. I have to hide it. Let's try and do that. So this was from the Lurge store, direct, and uh, that's what I purchased. There's my order. Um, I've ordered these from a, another company. These haven't arrived yet. I don't expect these probably will arrive quite as quick, but. I have noticed the the large store does deliver very very quickly. Um, I'm in the UK, and um, this came, like I say, five days. So what can I say? So uh, I now have my large power management modules ready to install on the large S boards, and I shall be testing that very soon. So thank you very much, AliExpress. Thank you very much, the large store. Um, all's good. Cheers, guys. <laughs>